what is sure? Well, so far, all we've considered in a reinforced concrete beam is how it might fail if it fails in bending. In other words, nice and ductile, and we have a nice bending failure. But unfortunately, there is another form of failure which can occur in a reinforced concrete beam, which is called shear. And what that is, is usually near the ends of a concrete beam, where the supports are, we have very high vertical forces at the ends of a concrete beam, and that can cause the end of the concrete beam to suddenly just fail in shear. So let's have a look now at this, this concrete beam, which is being loaded to ensure that we have a shear failure. Now, look carefully. The beam doesn't look as though it's under much distress. But this beam is being loaded to cause shear failure. So under load, it goes along and suddenly it fails in a very, very explosive manner. So this is a form of failure in a reinforced concrete beam which we have to ensure never happens. Can concrete resist shear? Well, yes, to some extent. But remember that the shear failure we've just seen is very, very brittle. So what we need to do is ensure that that never happens, and that means the concrete needs some help to resist shear. So what is that help? Well, remember that the, the shear failure occurs along an inclined plane, so the two pieces of concrete move apart like that, which means we need vertical reinforcement to prevent that from happening. Well, this is what reinforcement looks like on a site. We have the vertical reinforcement in place which resists our shear, and in fact it looks a bit like this, it looks like a shear stirrup. And we have the longitudinal reinforcement in place which resists bending. Together, this thing is called a reinforcement cage, and you'll see it in any construction site. The beauty of this sort of um, reinforcement cage is that it resists shear failure with the vertical stirrups. The longitudinal bars resist bending, so we will not fail in, in bending. But if it were ever to be overloaded, and it did fail in bending, then that's okay, because it would fail in a gradual manner, because we've chosen the amount of longitudinal reinforcement carefully. 